Pakistan today stands at a critical juncture. As the world's largest Muslim country, one of eight nuclear powers, and also on the front line of the war on terror, Pakistan is also a critical U.S. ally. In just days from today, Pakistan will hold crucial parliamentary elections. With the assassination of Benazir Bhutto, the political process was thrown into disarray. Many here fear going to the polls because of terrorist attacks. The government has deployed troops on the ground, 81,000 troops on the ground, to help prevent and ensure a safe election. During this short election campaign, many issues have risen to the forefront. People here have called for the restoration of the judiciary. Economic concerns weigh heavily on many minds in a country where 33% of the people live below the poverty line. Many here hold the perception that the war on terror is not their fight, but that of the United States. As the elections draw near, the embattled Pakistani President Pervez Musharraf's popularity has plummeted to an all-time low. price of staple goods have gone up 300 percent practically everywhere. A common man, I mean World Bank says 70 percent of Pakistanis live less than two dollars a day. You know, what is it that ultimately allows a person to be part of a system? And I think that the most important thing is when a person is enfranchised, not enfranchised only to vote, but he is enfranchised to possess property, to be able to keep his head and dignity held high, to be able to feed his children, educate them, provide for their needs, and give them a better future. That is roughly what it's all about. My grandfather used to tell me that if you step on an earthworm, and you raise your foot, you'll see a little uh, twist and turn. No one likes to be stepped on. The government of Pakistan's rate is declining. And this is creating space for militants, for extremists, separatists to raise their head. The authority of uh, the government had over the years faded. And uh, with, with all these uh, episodes, in the last one year, the authority faded further and we started getting uh, into a condition where people started taking the law into their own hands, the law, make, the law enforcing authorities would be uh, discouraged from uh, enforcing their writ and uh, things started to uh, crumble. On war on terror. Frankly speaking, you will find no one better than Musharraf. I think in any case, his time is up. Uh, if you look at the political process, look at the kind of things which have happened in the last two weeks particularly, there have been a crisis of leadership in Pakistan after Venezuela's assassination. Well, it is most unfortunate within 60 years of Pakistan's existence, such a crisis has never taken place. This is Betsy Heil reporting from Islamabad, Pakistan.